OKC moves on to their fourth conference finals in the last six years and will face the defending champion Warriors. The Thunder lost all three meetings with Golden State this season. Our basketball power index gives the Warriors a 70% chance to knock off OKC. Game one, Monday night in the Bay Area. Stephen A, who wins the West? Well, this is the matchup that I've wanted all year long, and we have it now, and you know how I've been fantasizing about Russell Westbrook going up against Steph Curry. I've got the Warriors winning this series in seven games. I think it's going to come down to a seventh game in Golden State, and I think that they're going to be able to close the deal on their home floor. It will not be easy. It will be rough because Kevin Durant, as far as I'm concerned, is not just a superstar. He's playing like a superstar. Russell Westbrook is shooting 35% from the field this season against the Golden State Warriors. I don't expect that to continue. I expect his pride to kick in. I think he's an assassin of the highest order, and I don't think anybody is going to come at Steph Curry the way that I expect Russell Westbrook to come at Steph Curry in this series, and Klay Thompson for that matter. But I'm going to tell you, Skip, what and it's, it's crazy because with all of the superlatives, uh, you look at the Kevin Durant averaging over 30 against Golden State this year. You look at Steph Curry doing the same. Kevin Durant averaged about 36. Curry averaged about 35. Russell Westbrook was up there over 25, but shooting 35% from the field. Those are the storylines with sizzle. Here's what makes it very, very interesting. Oklahoma City's physicality, their rebounding prowess, number one overall, number one in offensive rebounds, is supposed to work to their advantage. But if you've got a big body like Bogut in there, who's actually been doing his job and playing well in this system under Steve Kerr, and he has shined. And Marie Spates, to a lesser degree, being able to pull big boys away from the basket when he's in the game, but still being capable of going down there and banging. Yeah, that's one thing. But the Draymond Green factor is pivotal for one reason above all else not just his ability to rebound skip but he can dribble himself he doesn't have to pass the ball he can push the ball up the floor and actually lead breaks the reason why that's so big is because in order for Oklahoma City to neutralize that, either they're going to have to make sure he doesn't rebound at all, which is a very hard task to pull off, or they're going to have to be able to get back on defense, which they're not going to be able to do. So as a result, in order to counter what Golden State is going to do, you're going to have to go smaller against them which will take away some of your rebounding prowess. And as a result, will sort of play into what Golden State wants to do. That's what I think is going to work in this series. That is what I believe is going to be the X factor, Draymond Green. And I think that Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant are all going to do what they're supposed to do. Steph and Clay will do what they're supposed to do. But Draymond Green is going to be that X factor. That, to me, is the difference in a seven-game series. I'm picking Golden State in a nail-biter, an epic game seven, nip and tuck before then, both teams stealing the game on the other's home court in the first four games, and then, Oklahoma, uh, then Golden State able to protect their home court for games five and game seven. And I'm picking them to win in a nail-biter in a seven-game series. Wow. You got me hyped for it. But I fear... I fear you're speaking with your heart over your head here. And I, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Honestly, at this moment, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the Thunder can win a single game in this series. I've seen no proof of it this year. Unless you tell me that a against the game. Spurs and even against Dallas in the first round, that Oklahoma City just kept getting way, way, way better. That's, that's the only argument you can give me because... Hope, hope. Go ahead. I I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you saying that you think the gold Oklahoma City Thunder with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook yes. might get swept? Might. I I'll t I I've decided I I'm going to call it, I'll give them a game, four to one in five. I'll give them one game because Steph and Clay, you just know, will have one cold game, one combined, I don't know, three for 18 kind of game. And that will be the game that the Thunder steal. And I'm assuming that will come in Oklahoma City. But I don't even trust that. I, I just look at the three games. And again, they were just regular season, but they were pretty epic matchups. And Stephen A., Golden State averaged 120 points in those three games against the Thunder. They shot 50% in those three games against the Thunder. And if I can refresh your memory just a little bit, 
the Super Bowl game you attended out in the Bay Area. February 6th. Steph Curry scored or assisted on 50 points in that game. It was tied at 104 with 3.30 to go, and Golden State went on its vintage, classic, predictable 12-3 run to close out the game and win by eight. Then in the epic, epic game at Oklahoma City, the best game I saw all year on that Saturday night, February 27th, Steph Curry merely scored 46 points in that game and tied an NBA record by making 12 threes. Oklahoma City led 96 to 85 with about five minutes to go, led by five in overtime, and couldn't hold that lead against Steph and company. And then Steph hurt, you know, hit the shot heard around the world. We remember that one from about half court, it seemed like. And that was the end of that game. They won by three. Then on March 3rd, back in Golden State, Steph scored 11 of his 33 points in the final 430. He outscored Oklahoma City by himself over the last four and a half minutes of that game. And Oklahoma City led by one going to the fourth quarter and got outscored in the fourth 39, 39 to 23. And that wound up a 15 point game. So I, I look at this and I say, Kevin Durant was a super superstar against Golden State. As you point out, he averaged 36 on 53% shooting. Boy, he had his, his three-point shots, 48%, made 27 of 28 free throws. He was dominant. Meanwhile, Russell Westbrook really struggles against both Steph and Clay defensively when they're on Russell Westbrook. He, he shot from, from three, uh, they shot 29% as a team. He shot 17% from three to Russell Westbrook, three for 18. You, you just can't do that against the best three-point shooting team in basketball. And I'm just afraid there's not enough three-point firepower to offset the onslaught of threes that they're just going to give up to Golden State. I, th th this team is on a mission to show the world that they can beat Cleveland at full strength. Steph is back. He looks like he's at least 99% healthy to me. I, I just can't make a case. I hope you're right, because I'm really looking forward to it. But, but I'll, I'll just go Golden State in five, and I'm not even sure about that, because one of those games in Oklahoma City, I, I'll give them, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. I, I don't know. I hope you're right, though. Skip, I was at the game the night before the Super Bowl when uh, they played Golden State for the first time. I saw Oklahoma City down like 10 or 11. I don't remember exactly. Uh, then the next thing you know, they're up. Then they're down by 22, 23, and then they come back and take the lead. Oklahoma City is explosive offensively, and because of how explosive Golden State is offensively, sometimes you see Steve Kerr smashing clipboards and beyond because the discipline that they're supposed to show defensively is not what it once was all last year. They get a bit lax on far too many occasions, and it's something that you can ill afford to do against an explosive bunch like the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm telling you right now, I see, I see a different look in their eye. I see a focused Kevin Durant. I see a focused Russell Westbrook. I see two individuals that are tired of losing. I see them being the kind of guys that's saying there, are no, there is no team that has two superstars like us on it. That's how they feel. And think about this. We're talking about the reigning defending NBA champions that have won 73 games this year, that has the two-time reigning MVP on its squad. And it's the only time all year long that they'll have three players on the court and two of them are on the, uh, two of the best players are on the other team, not the Golden State Warriors. This is what they're faced against in going up against OKC. So I'm not saying that it's enough to beat them. I'm saying do not underestimate the Oklahoma City Thunder. I believe this series is going to be big time. I think that Kevin Durant is going to play like a star. And when you talk about my heart being into it, let me tell you where my heart lies. The only thing that my heart has to do with this is that I would much rather not have to travel to OKC. I don't mind being there, but getting there, as you can attest to, is nightmarish. So the travel's a nightmare in that regard. Outside of that, I have, I have nothing in this fight. You understand? I'm not, I'm not, even though I love, I love my brothers and sisters in Oakland, I'm not a fan necessarily of the Bay Area, and I damn sure ain't a fan of flying to OKC. So that's about it. 
travel issues is what I'm not looking forward to. But the actual games? Oh, my goodness. I've waited for this all year. I didn't believe, I doubted it was going to happen because of what we saw from OKC in those fourth quarters 15 times during this regular season or what have you. But talent-wise, I've been bragging about this potential matchup all year long in terms of who salivated more for seeing Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant go up against Steph Curry and those boys more than me. I've been waiting for this all year. Yep. I'm glad it happened. By the way, there is one nonstop flight a day from Newark direct to Oklahoma City. No stops. I looked for it, Skip. Yep. I looked for it. It didn't exist the other day when I had to go to OKC last week. I tried changed. to find that fight. I've Couldn't taken find it, many it Skip. Times. It the, wasn't there. The problem is it it's, wasn't there. it's, it's Trust basic. Me. It's a regional I jet. For it. And it's one of those tiny planes with tiny seats, and you have to kind of fold it. There's no first <laughs> class. So you, you got to just suck it up and, and, and Listen, ride it man, out. Listen, man, I would have sucked it up to get to, to I would have sucked it up to get to OKC. I can tell you that much. Okay. I couldn't find it. Well, check Trust it out. me. It's only I one tried. a day that I know I of. Maybe they did away with it. I don't know. All right. So Stephen A. saying Golden State in seven. Skip Golden State in five, but he's not even sure about that. So, so much star power in the series. And speaking of star power, in 13 of the last 14 NFL seasons, a team has gone from worst to first. Will the Cowboys accomplish the feat this year with the addition of Ezekiel Elliott? We'll get into that when we come back.